Hello everyone, it's me Chebby from Unique Tutorials. Today in this video, I will show you 10 best scanner apps for Android and iOS devices. So without any further delay, let's begin. So right now I am having a Android smartphone. So if you are iPhone or the iOS devices, then still you can get the same application which I'm going to show you right now. So if you're using an Android, just go to the Play Store and if you're using a iOS then just go to the App Store so just open the Play Store if you're using an Android smartphone and just search for the Microsoft Lens so you can see your Microsoft Lens just tap on it as I've already downloaded and installed it so I'm not going to do it again so you firstly download and install this application after that just tap on open on opening it will ask you some permissions tap on allow now it will give you some instructions so you can see you it is giving or showing you directly start scan now click on next now it will ask you permissions to use your cameras just allow it so right now you can see this kind of user interface so let me bring a page so you can see you so just let me take a page and just once you select the document just tap on the click button so you can see that auto adjust itself so below you can see some comments you can either adjust also by dragging from the left to right sides and you can see you let me adjust the borders for after each scan so this auto adjusting the documents so you can just click on confirm when you are done now you can see here are some you can get some filters like if you want to turn it black and white turn it black and white even different lighten brighten black and white colors or you can just keep it as like original and you can see the next option is crop rotate and you will get more options by clicking on by like you can write on the scan documents you can add a text also you can reorder the documents also if you have multiple documents so once you're done you can just click on done now you have a various options to save it as a picture or the image file as a pdf you can send it to the OneNote if you're using a OneNote on the Microsoft account. You can send it to the cloud storage that is the OneDrive. You can send it to the Microsoft Word. Even you can send it to the Microsoft PowerPoint. Once done, you can just click on Save by selecting the format you want to save. So this will be saved in the gallery if it is a picture file and it will be saved in the file manager if it is a video file. So definitely a very useful scanner applications that you should definitely try it out on the second list we have the adobe scan so once again open the play store and just search for the application name as adobe scan this searches applications and on the first list you will see this application like before i've already downloaded and installed it so you firstly download and install it after that just tap on open on opening it will show you some this kind of user interface right so here without signing in you won't be able to use this application so either you can use a google account or sign in with facebook or sign in with apple id or if you have already a sign in just tap on the sign in option so let me first sign in that option and you can see this kind of user interface once you sign in or login to the other account so it will ask you some permission like before just allow the camera permission so you can see this kind of user interface so let me bring a document see here so below you can see some formats like what type of document you gonna scan like form whiteboard or documents or the id cards or business cards what kind of documents you wanna scan that you can choose right now i'm just gonna select this document 
since you can, it will try to detect itself so it will auto scan or take a pictures of the respective documents now you can see keep scanning or retake adjust and save just you can adjust and save if you are done then just tap on adjust and done now below you will get some filters like before like the reorder crop brought it filter clean up and then you can delete this space now you can see here on the right top corner service pdf just click on it now it will start saving as video file or you can save it as a picture file also you can see here save as jpg or you can just tap on the more for more options like combine set password or whatever you want to do so definitely a cool applications to try it out by yourself so on the third list we have the swift scan so once again open the play store and just search for the application name as swift scan as you can see on the first list just tap on it like before i've already downloaded it so you just download and install it after that just tap on open on opening the applications it will ask you like this to enter the email address if you have an account or if you don't have then just you can tap on skip and just allow all the permissions it asks anything so it's a very minimalistic looking so you can see here so you can just bring a page so you can just bring a page it will auto detect everything so you can see here it's auto capturing the documents so like before it's almost the same so i'm not going to take you much time in showing all the options that it gonna show since it's also a similar provides the similar options like the earlier options so definitely you should try it out by yourself on the fourth list we have the b flat scan so once again open the play store and in the play store just search for the application name as b flat scan as you can see on the first list the good thing about this application is that it's totally free of course so you download it firstly and after that tap on open wait for a few seconds so just allow the, all the permissions in expo just tap on agree and start so it will give you some instructions just click on next so you can see this kind of user interference so it will also auto detect the documents like before so once it is selected you can tap on the capture or the click button and it will save automatically so like before it has also it will also gonna provide you like addition of text exporting like a picture and a pdf file so tons of options to check it out by yourself so this is also a cool application that you should try it out by yourself on the fifth list we have the genius scan so once again just open the play store and in the play store just search for the application name and genius scan on the first list you will see this application like before i've already downloaded and installed it so you firstly download and install it after that just tap on open on opening the application you will see this kind of user interference so it's a very minimalistic design so you can tap on the camera icon just to start scanning your documents it's almost the similar like earlier so it will auto capture the documents once it gets the size of the documents so you can just tap on this edit to edit this file so and also almost the similar like the rest of the scanner application which i have shown you earlier so you can find out more functions and features what it gonna provide for you so definitely a cool applications to try it out by yourself on the sixth list we have the joho doc scanner so once again open the play store and in the play store just search for the application name as joho doc scanner on the first list you will see this application like before i have already downloaded and installed it so you firstly download and install it after that just tap on open on opening the applications it will be shown this kind of interference just scan the documents now just click on allow all the permissions just bring the documents near to it 
and once you put your documents under the camera just tap on the click now you can auto adjust the size and once you are done just click on save so here also you will get some options to edit and save it like picture or you can just text and or share to convert the text files which you can edit later on so definitely a cool application to check it out for yourself now on the seven number we have the turbo scan like before just open the play store and just search for the application name as turbo scan as you can see now just scroll down below now you can see a turbo scan here just click on it like before i've already downloaded and installed it so you firstly download and install it after that just tap on open on opening the application you will see this kind of user interference so just click on allow give the permissions like before it's a simple looking interference below you can see this kind of user interference just tap on this camera icon allow the permissions and you can just start scanning by just clicking the camera icon so it's almost similar like the earlier scanner application so cool applications to try it out by yourself on the 8 number we have the jot not scanner so just open the play store again and just search for the application name as jot not scanner applications and you can see here jot not pdf scanner app so you firstly download it and after that just tap on open just allow all the permissions you can see here on the bottom a camera icon just tap on it just allow all the permissions now just bring your documents and you can just start capturing by clicking the center icon and now you can adjust the positions or the corner positions and you can just proceed so the, this also looks similar like the rest of the scan applications so try it out by yourself so on the 9 number we have the docu 10 pdf scanner so once again open the play store and in the play store just search for the application name as docu 10 as you can see on the first list just tap on now just download and install it after this just click on open on opening the application you will see this kind of joint finish as you can skip all the instructions and you can just click on get started so you can see this kind of interface so below you can see your the camera icon just tap on it allow all the permissions just bring the document files and once you place it now you can just it will get auto clicked once it get the positions so it's showing you some instructions so you can follow all the rest instructions it's showing you so below you can see some more options like the card rotate filter so i'm not going to show it much more since it's almost the similar with the rest of the scanner applications so a cool applications to try it out by yourself so on the 10 number we have the scan to fill so once again open the play store and in the play store just search for the application name as scan to fill so you can see on the first list scan to fill by your slide just open it like before i have already downloaded it so you firstly download and install it after that just tap on open on opening the application it will show you this kind of user interface so you can see your get image from camera or the photos we'll just tap on camera click on allow all the permissions so just bring the documents like before and once you place the documents under it you can click on this blue icon so it will start taking the picture so you can see in the bottom on the left bottom just tap on it now you can get some options for editing like cropping rotating you can change the colorful pictures to black and white and you can save it as picture as well as the jpg file as well as the video file or you can just retake it and you can change the layout like if you want to make it as a f4 then you can just select an f4 page 
so it will convert to the apple page style so these are the 10 best scanner applications for android and ios devices that you should definitely try it out by yourself so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel please click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching